Hey, what's happening guys? So uh, there seems to be a lot of interest in the Raspberry Pi Pico, so we're going to continue on. And today we're going to figure out how to read from the onboard thermometer, or temperature sensor, whatever you want to call it. So before we can do that, we need to figure out how we can read an analog input. So I've got the Pico set up here. You see we have pin 3 kind of from the top down. This is pin 3, that's a ground, and then 5 is our 3.3 .3 volt out. And pin 10 here is ADC1, I think. Yeah, ADC1. And then I have a potentiometer set up over here so that we can vary the voltage. It's basically what we've done is, is we've created an analog sensor that we can control. We can ramp it up, we can ramp it down, and we can take a look at it that way. Let's, uh, let's go over to the computer and first take a look at the pins for the uh, Pico, and then we'll take a look at the code, and we'll give it a test. All right, so we're taking a look here at the Pico, a diagram of the Pico, and we can see all the pins. So again, as I was doing over on the board itself, we counted down one, two, three is a ground, four, five is a 3.3. Uh, and I agree with you guys 100%. Put the doggone labels on top of the board. Why would you put them on the bottom? So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. ADC 0. So you can see here we have uh, pins, IO pin 26, 27, and 28 are all going to ADC 0, ADC 1, and ADC 2. Those are our analog digital converters. And they are 12-bit uh, digital converters. But there's a little something funky with the MicroPython. So here you can see our GPXX ADCX general purpose input output with analog input number. All right, are you with me so far? Well, 12-bit uh, maximum value is 4,096. But the Pico is going to mathematically manipulate that to give us 65,635 whatever that particular high number is so that it's compatible with other Python devices so we need to keep that in mind as we deal with that okay alright now I'm gonna set this thing up with the camera on the Pico and then we'll bring up the uh, IDE as well hang on just a moment okay you can see the Raspberry Pi there, and the, or, yeah, the Raspberry Pi. What's called the? Let's just call it the Pico. You can see the Pico there, and we have our interface here, and you can see we're running the correct Raspberry Pi Pico. So everything seems to be good. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to just put in a little bit of code up here, so that we can read that potentiometer first thing we need to do is import the machine library that is the library that controls the pins and the uTime library which is a timer library so far so good right pretty simple okay next we're going to create our variable potentiometer and it's going to equal from the machine dot ADC pin 26 now that's going to give us a stupid high number and we just basically want to see the voltage and I'll tell you why we want to see the voltage because when we get to the temperature sensor it's going to output a voltage so to do that we're going to do a conversion conversion factor is going to equal 3.3 which is the maximum voltage divided by 65 535 okay now we need to read it so we'll create a simple while loop and we'll say while true we'll create a variable called voltage 
and it will be equal to potentiometer dot read now here's where we're getting to the analog part we need it to be an unsigned 16 bit so we have to say u 16 okay times our conversion factor and that is going to allow us to get a voltage out of this thing then we're just going to say print voltage in u time dot sleep 2 now if I did my typing right this should work and give us a voltage right, here we go all right so looking at the window here you see we now have 1.5 volts and if I change the potentiometer we're down to 0.7 if I go pretty much all the way how low can, how low can we go 0 0.01 0 0.02 and if we go the other way we can get all the way up to 3.3 so now we know how to read an analog value from the Pico now we can work on reading the temperature sensor which again is just going to output a voltage which we can then convert into a temperature should be pretty simple <laughs> you notice I laugh as I say that right okay let's remove all of these items from the board we don't need them the temperature sensor is built into the RP2040 chip. I can leave those power jumpers on here. It won't hurt anything at all. So I'm not going to remove those. Now, the one thing we're going to have to do is figure out how to convert from a voltage to a temperature. And that is going to be specific to the temperature sensor. And if you go to page 571 of the data sheet, it'll tell you right there how to do it. Okay. That's page 571 of the RP2040 data sheet. All right, let's get our IDE up and running and write a little program to read the temperature. Okay, there's not going to be really anything to see on the Raspberry Pi Pico, but we'll leave it up and running. So, the first thing we need to do is bring in our two libraries like we did before. We have import machine and import U time. Now, in this case, we are going to be reading the ADC channel 4 instead of a pin. So, all we have to type is sensor temp, that's our variable, equals machine.adc4. And then we have our conversion factor. You guys remember that from the last one? Conversion factor is 3.3, which is the maximum voltage of the Pico divided by um, the maximum value of the ADC. So then what we're going to do is uh, read that sensor. So in our while loop we're going to say reading, that's another variable, is going to equal, equal sensor dot underscore temp which is our machine ADC4 right there and remember we need that U16 to tell it it's an analog read times our conversion factor which is this right here then then we are going to take the um, formula I guess we call it from the data sheet and say temperature is equal to 27 minus the reading minus 0 0.0706 divided by 0 0.001721 and then finally 
we can print the temperature and take a whoopsies somebody screwed up there I think it was me take a two second break to let the sensor recycle okay so there it is let's see if it works we'll save it to the Pico we'll call this one temp test remember we gotta call it dot pi thank you for whoever told me that Something's apparently not right. Hmm. What did I do wrong? Okay, I went over, typed everything again. Um, I'm assuming it was just a syntax mistake. I don't know. Let's find out. Where to save to? Pi Pico. We'll call it again temp test pi. Overwrite, yes. There we go. So we're getting 13.9, 14.4 Celsius. Let us bring in the heat gun. This guy. Now I'm going to turn it on. Give it a second to warm up here. Still not warm. Okay, we're getting up to 220 degrees. All right, now it's getting warm. So let's blow down the chip there. There you go. You can see how quickly that changed. So, now we know how to read an analog value into the Pico, and you now know how to use the uh, onboard temperature sensor. I think that's pretty cool. If you think that's pretty cool, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.